nice. You should open your heart. I wanna see what you so like. Low life, but I'm telling you to go to here when die. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. So this is the iPhone SE and this device has a brand new update and if we go into our settings and go to where it says general and go to software update right here you can see it checks for an update and right here we have ios 15.7.8 this update has just been released it's fresh and it's rolling out to the, all the supported devices right now and in case you're wondering whether your device is supported or not these are the supported devices that support iOS 15.7.8. So right here we have the iPhone 6s all models, the iPhone 7 all models, iPhone SE first gen, which is this iPhone that you see here. It's amazing to see it still being supported and getting updates. And we have the iPad S2 as well as iPad mini fourth generation and iPod touch seventh gen. Now, this update is not all that Apple has just released today. There are quite a new, a number of new updates that have been released alongside this. And you can see those here. I took screenshots. So we have iOS 16.6. .6. This screen is so nice and cute. Hopefully you can see what I'm saying here. So we do have iOS 16.6 .6, as well as iPadOS 16.6, .6, macOS 13.5, watchOS 9.6, tvOS 16.6 .6, and if we go to the second page here you see this update that I'm updating to iOS 15.7.8 and iPadOS 15.7.8 most of these updates I do cover here on the channel at half men half tech so if this is something that you are interested in and you want to get to know your device and get to see what's changed within these updates then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now, I'll let my iPhone update and then we'll get to see the software and see some of the new features and changes that are here. And you can see how fast the update took. You saw the update size that it came in for me as well. And so it's been requested and let's give it some time as it prepares. So right here, our device has been updated. You can see your iPhone has been updated to iOS 15.7.8. And let's go ahead and see the new software changes that are here with this device. So if we go into settings, everything is loading up for the first time and then go to general and go to software update. Takes a moment. You can see we are up to date. And if we go to the about section, the version is right there and if we click that you can see the build number that we have it's 19h364 so that's the build number and on this device that hasn't yet been updated it's actually about to go off if we go into settings and go to general and go to where it says um, about you will see it's on ios 15.7.4 just to compare the difference in the build number here it's a good thing that uh, this iphone se first gen didn't experience these issues but you can see here on this iphone this is the iphone 6s i believe right here and uh, yeah it's experiencing issues trying to find the update and boom here it comes so you can see it's about the same and you can see the update size it's uh, around the same and it's 250.4 megabytes not really much of a difference and when it comes to the update itself I honestly can't tell anything like different so I had been using this device just to try and compare that's why the battery is quite low and yeah it's pretty much the same when it comes to speed when it comes to let's open up the photos app and see you can see no new splash screens in the photos this one is just one that has always existed when it comes to like other applications for example let's open up the app store see it's about the, actually this device is loading pretty faster you can see how ios 15.7.8 is a little bit faster than this older version and then we'll look for a different uh, application to open for example let's go to the camera app 
Oh wow, this guy is pretty cool. So the iPhone SE is pretty neat and uh, with iOS 15.7.8, it seems a bit faster because I had not updated it in a while. And you can see when it comes to the update, everything is working as it's supposed to. I do have my widgets here. They are loading. I don't have anything that's blank like what I used to have previously. And then also my app library, it's intact, which is something that's great. Now. I want to show you some of the security updates here. If you go to uh, Apple security releases or you search it up on Google, you'll be able to find it. And here you see iOS iOS 15.7.8 uh, and iPad OS 15.7.8. If you click there, you will see that um, there's a number of security patches that have been implemented with this update starting with Apple Neuro Engine and it says that this issue was addressed with improved memory handling and you can see the affected devices here and then we have Find My also and a logic issue was addressed with improved restriction for find my so that should protect your network around your devices that you're trying to use find my across which is something that's good and then if we go to canal you can see we do have a issue where the impact may be able to execute arbitrary code with canal privileges which are privileges within the root so that is deep and it has been patched we have more canal patches and more canal resolved patches as well and we have webkit that usually has to do with safari and connection to the web and a website may be able to bypass some origin policy which has been patched up and uh, you can see also some of someone who reported it we have more webkit vulnerabilities that have been patched and then we have web process model and we have webkit web inspector right there and basically those are the security patches that i hear when it comes to ios 15.7.8 and ipad os 15.7.8 so it doesn't really bring new features or new changes it's just a bug fix update and in case or in if you are wondering whether you should update or not i would say yes this is an update that you really need to update to because it has a number of security patches and security fixes that it has to offer and for that alone that is worth updating to it's always better to have a safe and stable device than one that is fancy but full of bugs and issues and with regards to how long apple is going to keep supporting this ios 15.7 or ios 15 in general it's hard to tell because right now we are almost like a month and a half away from iOS 17. So when iOS 17 comes out, maybe they will discontinue iOS 15 updates. But then there are times where they support up to two previous version of iOS other than the current one. So maybe leading into mid next year, we might see this continue to be supported until WWDC 2024. But whatever the case, I'll keep you updated. And if you want to get to know your device and know what's new within these updates, definitely do give me a follow on Half Men Half Tech and I'll uh, let you know and keep you updated. So that's about it for me when it comes to iOS 15.7.8 on the iPhone se first gen if you want to see it on the iphone 6s let me know and maybe i'll test it out too after i update and i might do a video for you so stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace it don't matter what he say don't matter what she say don't matter what they say regalia ak guns from ak i'm not a law abiding citizen i come to paralyze the leader red rumors antagonize the dinner dates some devastation from the paper pen i make the